Welcome to this video. We usually use axisymmetric elements to model problems with both axisymmetric geometry and axisymmetric boundary conditions and loads. What does happen if the second circumstance is not satisfied? Is it possible to still use axisymmetric modeling for this kind of problems? If you are interested in this type of modeling in Abaca software, please keep watching this video. In this video, we are going to simulate bending of a pipe as an axisymmetric model. In continue, at first we create a usual axisymmetric model, and then we modify its INP file to create axisymmetric model with non-symmetric load. We create the cross-section of the pipe by drawing a rectangle. Then we create a material named steel, and with linear elastic behavior. Next we create a section, and assign it to the pipe. We insert the part in the assembly module. Then we create a static general step. We toggled on the nonlinear geometry and adjust incrementation. In the load module we want to fix the bottom edge, and apply a concentrated force to the top of the pipe. At first, we create a set for the bottom edge. Then we apply pin constraint to this set. Next we apply a concentrated load to the top node of the pipe. In the mesh module, we choose quadrilateral structured mesh for the part. We use seat edge mesh icon to create two elements along the thickness of the pipe. and 40 elements along the length of the part. After that we can generate the mesh. We create a job to write the INP file of the simulation. The name of the job will be the name of the file, and the file will be saved in the work directory. Please notice that it is not possible to use axisymmetric elements with non-symmetric loads from Abacus graphical user interface, and we need to modify and use the INP file. We can open the INP file from the work directory. If you are interested to know how to create, understand, modify, and use INP files please watch our previous video. This part of the file defines nodes positions. In this part elements are defined. At first we should change the type of the element from regular axisymmetric elements to axisymmetric elements with non-symmetric loads. CAXA42 means axisymmetric element with four nodes, and two terms of Fourier series. Then we define a value as the offset between labels of nodes in various planes. As an example, you can see the nodes of a CAXA42 element in three planes around symmetric axis. In the first plane, the element has four nodes. In planes which are created by 90 degrees rotation of the previous plane, the same nodes are defined, and the node labels are increased by the amount of offset. Set 1 was created for assigning the section to the part. It contains all nodes from 1 to 213 1 by 1, and all the elements from 1 to 141 by 1. The set fix includes the bottom nodes of the part. We need to add bottom nodes of other planes to the set to fix them.
we also add the labels of related elements to this set. Set 2 with label 213 is used to apply concentrated force to the top node. We want to apply similar load to the plane with 180 degrees rotation around the symmetric axis from the first plane. So we create set 3 with the node label 2213. In the part of the file which defines loads, we apply a concentrated force to the set 3. Please note that the direction of the load should be opposite to the direction of the load in the first plane, because the local and global coordinate system in this plane have opposite x direction. In the next step, we create a job using modified INP file and submit it. In the results, at first I increase the scale factor of deformation to see the bending behavior of the pipe. Then I sweep the pipe cross-section around the symmetric axis. We can see that the results show bending behavior of the pipe. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and you can find lots of videos about modeling in Abacus. Please let us know your opinion by a comment.